This is a quick video on how to create barcodes in Microsoft Excel. In my sample spreadsheet here you can see I have two columns. One is a column filled with example serial numbers and in the second column here I want to create barcodes. To do that I'm going to go ahead and click in the first cell here. If you want these barcodes to be readable by a handheld scanner, we just have to do something special to get them to be recognized. It's pretty easy, all we have to do is add an asterisk to the beginning and the end of the text. The barcode reader uses the asterisk as a start and stop character, so this tells it where the data begins and ends. An easy way to put this information together in Excel is to use the formula equals quotation asterisk quotation ampersand and then the cell. In this case, it starts with A2, and then another ampersand, quotation, asterisk, quotation, and then hit enter. And we can see now we just have the data from this cell with an asterisk at the beginning and end. So I'm going to go ahead and click in this cell, and then click on this little square in the corner, and drag it down to copy that formula to all the other cells. Now all we have to do is convert this to a barcode. There isn't a built-in font to do this in Windows 10, so we have to download one. To do that, I'm just going to go out to the internet and search for free C39 barcode font. This is the one I used before with good results from inflowinventory.com. I'll leave a link to this one in the description. And we just want to scroll down to the download link here. And the file is downloaded here, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And now I'll just unzip the file. This is the one I used, just double click on it and it will give you a preview of what the font looks like. Go ahead and say install. And then you can close out of this window and out of this one and go ahead and close the internet. And you will have to relaunch Excel for the new font to be available. I'm going to go ahead and close it now. Say save. and reopen my file here. Now I'm going to select all of the cells that I want to convert to barcodes and then let's change them to a different font. I'll just have to scroll a little bit until we see the barcode here. And then select that. And I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. And that's pretty much it. Now these are in a format where if I print them out, I can use a handheld scanner to read the barcode. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if it helped you out, and thanks for watching.